when students log in, they have all of their components listed, but they also have this element called writing check. And this means that if a teacher hasn't set up a task, they can still go in and check their writing. So all we have to do is paste the piece in here and click check. So no matter what task they're doing, this is sort of an open area, it's like a sandbox that students can go in and have a look at the, and check their own work. So we can see across here that we've got um, different elements of writing which relate to the circle diagram that we had before. So overall, great work. Scriba hasn't found many issues in grammar, punctuation and spelling. Um, you're a good proofreader and your use of language conventions is very strong. That's great. Um, I can look then at um, some writing suggestions. So I've made a good job of not repeating words. My paragraph um, readability, uh, I use some short sentences and some more simple words. Uh, if I'm looking for the general writing for the general public, we might suggest you try combining sentences and looking for more detailed words, which tend to be longer. So that's great. And then they give some suggestions. So I can then go here to grammar what they've noticed and I can click on here and it will actually highlight this. Oh, there we go. Um, I need a space between that. And we're teaching students that this is just a piece of data that they can use, a consideration. So it might be, oops, there is an error there. So I'm going to put an apostrophe in there. Uh, and there is some things that are right and wrong about it and students need to actually make an informed decision as to whether the software uh, is telling them to do the right thing. Um, they've got passive and active voice there. Um, I can look at my cohesives. Now, the really great thing that I love about this is it says simple cohesive use 12 times. So I can go, for example, I can go to and here and I can have a look at the cohesive explorer where I can go, okay, so I know I want a connective and I know I want to add two things together, two concepts. And these are all the ways that I can do that. I can have a look at my vocabulary. So I can look at the usage of common words, uh, more difficult words, and then more academic words. Um, I can look at sentence structure. So I've got, um, do I have a, I can have a look at my sentence length here. So you can actually have a look and see what long where there's long sentences, where there's short sentences, which obviously don't have many. Um, and I can also look at the readability level. Now, obviously, your readability level, you so sort of want the same across both all paragraphs. And obviously, that depends on the purpose of the piece of writing as to how difficult or complex that is. Once you've made all your changes, you can check that again if you want. And you can then copy the text and paste it into whatever submission form that the student wants.